Hey, what's going on guys? It's Divine and today we're going to be taking a look at all three safe locations in Modern Warfare 2022. Now you're going to need to find all three of these safes to get the Gentleman Thief trophy or achievement depending on what platform you're playing this game on. But don't worry guys, it's pretty easy and we only have to go into two different missions, El Sinombre and Alone, to find these safes. So without further ado, let's jump right in. All right, so first up is going to be the El Sinombre, and this is going to be right after you get interrogated. You can actually have free reign throughout the compound here at the bottom floor, but if you go up top, you will soon see that we, if we get detected by any of the enemies up here, they will try to kill us. So once you climb up to this balcony over here, you actually are going to see a couple different paths to take. Now we're going to go left. Uh, this will lead to a pool room where you'll see an enemy a little bit further down the hallway, but we can take a bottle here, and then there's also a throwing knife and another bottle. What we're going to do is just take out this enemy right here because there shouldn't be any other enemies that we run into. Um, just easy peasy, you get a gun off of this guy, which is great. Um, pick your throwing knife back up, but then we're going to continue down this full hallway. Now be careful around that corner right there, there is a set of stairs with a enemy that can see you, but moving right along into this room we are going to see a bed um, and then also a closet but if you notice there is a painting on the wall and this is where you're going to actually find that code uh, we're just going to go ahead and come back to the safe and input the code here and it's going to be 2219 and there you go guys, that's an easy way to get some plates and also a suppressed shotgun for this mission. Um, pretty cool gun, um, kind of useful, it's just nice to always have plates in any of these missions. It's, it's pretty handy, especially if you're playing on some of the harder difficulties. So uh, feel free to go and grab that gun, it's also suppressed like I said, so it's very nice for taking out and stealthy kills. All right, so moving on to our second mission, this is going to be in Alone. Now, you're going to know you're going to get close to this safe when you get to the room where there is a shotgun kind of hidden behind the door. So what you're going to do is go through the window, disarm the shotgun, um, and this is just kind of an easy marker to tell when you're getting close to the safe, like I said. So you'll just come up here, you got the shotgun, you can turn on your headlamp up here, you're going to start hearing some knocking, things like that coming from this door. We'll go straight down this hall way i know a lot of you guys probably thought there was going to be an enemy that jumps out at you but it's just a guy trying to get back into his own home but unfortunately he doesn't make it now you'll go right across that hallway into this other room and you'll take an immediate left and you'll see this door right here Unfortunately, if you do not have a pry tool ready, you are going to have to search this room for materials to make one. Now, there's a couple different lock boxes throughout, but if you look in this area right here with all these chairs and tables and stuff, you will find probably the metal that you're missing because I feel like metal is typically the, the missing piece in these pry tools that's really hard to find. So we've come back to the door here. We're just gonna go ahead and pry to open. And then we walk in and we will see a calendar above the computer which is going to lead us to the code which is 101080 on this safe. So we'll go ahead and actually put it in and we'll see what we get off of this safe. And there we go, we have 10, 10, 80, and we get a suppressed Desert Eagle, which is very powerful, especially against some of these armored enemies that you're going to come up next to. Now, just note that the next safe, next and last safe, I should say, is right down um, from this, but you may want to search the area for a bit more metal and, you know, to open some of these crates for some C4. So I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead and we'll lead to the third safe. All right, so for our third and last safe, now we just jump down from where that other safe was after searching the area a little bit more. One thing to note with this area is when you jump down, there's actually going to be quite a few enemies around, so just kind of be careful. I'm doing this after I've killed all the enemies, but we're going to come across the little alleyway there and come into this garage where you'll see this next room. Now, this is where the third and last safe is. Now, there is a computer with the save code. Unfortunately, I did not get the footage of it. So what we're going to go ahead and do is actually put in the code, which is 3760. 
80. So we'll get this inputted here just shortly. And there we go. Now, when you do this, you should get your achievement, which is the Gentleman Thief and access to the okay, crossbow. Man. Now, the crossbow is very strong. One thing to note right in this area is if you have the pry tool, you can actually get your stim pack as well. So you're not really just kind of like half fainted while trying to run. It allows you much more free movement. Um, but like I was saying with the crossbow, actually the bolts are reusable, so if you one hit enemies you can go and get the bolts back, which is super handy in this mission because it is strong and it can one hit armored enemies. And as you saw that shot right there, it for some reason missed, but this one does hit and like I said it is a one hit kill throughout the rest of the campaign, even armored enemies it will one hit kill them. but. Like I said before, don't lose your bolts because that is one problem I had after obtaining this weapon. Well, that's all I have for you guys today. Uh, hopefully you liked the video and there will be more content coming out, especially with, you know, the multiplayer coming out shortly, Warzone, DMZ mode, all that great stuff. There's also additional games that I'll be covering as well. So like I said, if you liked the video, feel free to like, comment and subscribe down below and I will catch you in the next one.